Freshman from Super Extra North. Extra North! And this is Four Walls. These four walls are where I spend most of my time. It's not where I want to or hope to. I look at the IV they put in my arm and wish I wasn't sick. I wish I was a normal teenager. These four walls have seen me at my worst. They have seen all the evil come out, yet no good come in. They have watched me feel the worst I have ever felt before, but they don't judge. They stay silent. They keep all my secrets. It's within these four walls I wish I had my life back. I wish I could go on runs without feeling like I was going to die. I wish I could go on bike rides with my friends and think everything will be fine. I wish I was normal again. It's within these four walls I wish I wasn't here. These four walls do judge me though. They judge me hard. They stare and laugh because I'm not like every other teenager. I have to spend most of my days here just so I know I'll be okay. They comfort me and try to tell me I'll be okay, but the tears run down my face because the vital monitor won't stop screaming at me. These four walls are where I've worn my past, where I've contemplated my future. My future laughs at me. It cries and screams. It doesn't know how long me and these four walls will be friendlies because maybe one day there'll be a cure. But this disease is like Emily Dickinson, known but not talked about. Maybe one day these four walls won't see me anymore. They won't listen to my stories about how wonderful my life was or hear the poetry I wrote to get through it. The ID won't know my touch anymore. It won't understand how much I appreciated it when I needed it the most. It won't overhear the school gossip I wish I knew nothing about. The smell of sterile equipment follows me around like children to their mother when they get sick. These four walls have heard it all, the good, the bad, in between. But they stay. They never walk out.